Welcome to another Power BI report presentation by Enterprise DNA. Today we are focusing in on banking and uh, banking clients. What are the key things to look at for a bank is your deposits, your loans, and what I've termed here, here as the float. So the float is the difference between your deposits and your loans and ordinarily that would be what you fund uh, the bank with uh, the bank's equity funding. That equity funding can come from also a number of different uh, locations. It could be onshore, it could be offshore, um, it could be capitalized on a stock market, and and others and others. Um, in this case, we're looking at the key banking relationships across different areas of the bank. So we have commercial, institutional, private bank, and retail. And in this first page, we are able to quickly dive into or get a look at what is the current risk weighting per region. So we've associated a risk weighting uh, on each different client, and this would ordinarily be the case in a bank. The credit department would uh, say this person's a low credit risk or a high credit risk. A uh, high credit risk in this instance are, are what we've termed five here. And what we can do is we can dive into a a particular area of the bank, say commercial, and say, um, let's go look at what Auckland looks like, and we can get a quick snapshot of um, what's what, what is the greatest risk, and it looks like there's not much risk here. Um, the majority of clients are in the risk weighting of level two, and we can quickly see that by looking at the map there. It's very easy to jump into all the different areas in the country, or uh, whatever region you want to look at it. Uh, it's just as easy as you know, clicking between the charts and Power BI dynamically let, lets or allows you to get to the location that you want. Say we wanted to actually look at, okay, what are, what are our high risk clients? We can, in, in this commercial area, say a commercial manager would want to know this on a daily basis, I would, I would have thought, and click on the risk level five, expand the chart and you can see, okay, these are my key clients. And then these are the uh, relationship managers that a banking manager may want to talk to and say okay uh, w have we got this client covered are we monitoring their business are we monitoring their financials their incomes etc their properties um, this just allows you to get a very quick snapshot of, of, of where those are and um, and where you should be di directing your um, resources your relationship resources there's also other metrics we can dive into here but I'll take us to the next page where we have a bit more detail about uh, the client so we can actually drill into the, the client level, the cl client granular data. Uh, once again we have our different risk levels and we have our areas of the bank and here we can actually see our total float by city. So um, this gives us a breakdown of uh, where we need the most additional funding from, from the bank's equity. So we can say click into uh, Palmerston North in this instance and we can very quickly get a list of all, all the key clients and all their details, um, their total deposits, their total loans, the total properties they own. And um, if you wanted to then follow up on each of these clients, you know, remember with Power BI you, it's very easy to actually export the data as well. The next three pages are actually the same page uh, over and over again. Uh, this just gives uh, a snapshot for each key business area, say in, for instance this is retail, uh, we can have a look at the deposits by client and then a breakdown of, of all the types of deposits, so we've got bank deposits, savings accounts, superannuation, foreign currency accounts and then also the, the lending. So we can look at uh, bank loans, credit cards, biz lending. And then here we can get a, um, a good look um, at the cluster of where, where are our deposits versus our loans, um, where are our greatest exposures versus um, how much that client has deposited with us. So we can click into the, each particular client and get a, a snapshot of where, where they, they are at. Or we can look at it from a group perspective, so this is say uh, top clients, maybe platinum and our uh, uh, entry level clients are Jade or we can look at okay so here are our high fee clients which is uh, what it seems most most uh, clients are for a bank but we can see where we're getting the greatest amount of fees from f for our clients 
And this, uh, we have the same thing here for a commercial area of a bank and also an institutional area. Okay, thank you very much.